What's good, everybody? What's good? Wanted to just come through and do a um, talking video. I don't. Sometimes I do these on my channel, and um, I'm using my Insta. Uh, what is this? The Insta 360 link. Uh, it's like a gimbal cameras 4K. Hopefully, it comes out in 4K. That's what I put it on. So, um, over my one of one of my friends, which is uh, uh, let me pull up his channel, the Clay Allen Chronicles. I just looked at his video and he was just talking about, you know, um, in general, you know, being over a certain age and uh, considering starting YouTube. And um, it prompted me, which I was thinking about doing a video like this anyway. And what I was going to talk about, um, which is a very good subject that you may want to go check out. I'm going to leave his information in the in the link of this uh, video here. But I also want to talk about on um if you're going to start your channel, how you don't have to spend a ton of money to start a YouTube channel. Um, we all know, we all know about the Blue Yeti mics and various mics. I'm going to go through some of the mics that I have because I've given away quite a few of them as well. And right now I'm using the Personas PD70. I don't know if you can see it from here. I don't want to move it or touch it because I don't want it piercing your ears. But it's not good etiquette to be moving around mics and stuff when you're um, doing a video. But I just wanted to touch on some of the mics that, that I still have in my in my possession that I still use from time to time. And these are some gems. These mics are some gems. I believe I'm going to just use them or just keep them because just because. Because they're just good mics. And my first one is going to be the um, the Five Fine Apple Game. This is a USB mic. And I, on my channel, if you want to, you can go check this video out. Here's the mic itself. It is RGB. It has a touch thing at the top to mute right here, which is um, it's a soft touch. It comes with its own windscreen. It's kind of plastic material, so it's real lightweight. It's real lightweight. And that's, that's the volume button at, at the bottom right here, which is right here. That's to turn up the volume, up and down. And I, I have to say, this mic is underrated. It's a very good mic. It's underrated. Again, this is the uh, Ampligain, uh USB mic. I don't know if I have a number for it. I'll just, what I'll probably do is just leave everything in the description bef below. But yeah, this is the Ampligain mic, RGB. Very lightweight. But it comes with its own, you know, um, like I said, went uh, with its own uh, wind stream, uh, wind screen, so to speak, built in. It's built in. It's Like I said, it's kind of plastic material. But, hey, nevertheless, it's a decent mic. And I used it for a while. Y'all know if y'all follow me, got a little five fine <laughs> emblem on the front. And I've used it a lot, you know. Um, it's good if you want, you know, RGB. It's a solid microphone, it, which is what, which is why I still have it. That is the Five Fine Ampli game. It's a USB mic. It is a USB. I just want to reiterate that. Matter of fact, I don't know whether USB. Oh, the the plug where you plug it in is right here on the back. Let's see. See that? That's a USB C. If you can see it, yeah, right there. USB-C only. It's not a dynamic mic. It's more like a condenser type of microphone, but it's a decent microphone. The second mic that I want to show you guys, everybody knows about Elgato. Everybody knows about Elgato. I have quite a few Elgato products myself. So this is, I think this is the Wave um, 2, I think, I want to say. It has its own wind, windscreen on the front as well. No, it's the Wave 3. I see it on the side, Wave 3. Y'all forgive me because um, it's a solid microphone. It has the gain buttons and stuff up front. And I used this for some years. This is also a USB. I think it's a USB-C. Is it USB-C? Yeah. Yes, yeah, a USB-C. You can see it on the back. Let me um, pull this up so you can see. USB-C mic. That's the back of it right there. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what that is. 
you can hook you can hook in your headphones to that as well as you can see pristine you know I, I try to take care of my stuff this stuff still these mics these mics look brand new this is the wave three by elgato solid mic it's got some heft to it too i just want to let you know it's got some heft to it i think i bought this to go with it and i think this came with it as well a little thing that, you know to, to keep the the peas from popping all over the place so to speak to have good sound um but yeah it is a usb-c mic so i just want to let you know about that as well let me put this because i i don't have a lot of mics but the mics that i do have i decided to keep them you know um then you know i started dealing with five fine of course actually i've been dealing with five fine for years and although you know people said that their mics sound alike and and but that's not a bad thing because their mics sound good. Five Fine's microphones do sound good. I've reviewed, I've reviewed quite a few on my channel. I have a good representative that I deal with. Um, I gave away the Five Fine K65 some years ago. That was an RGB mic as well. And I just wasn't using it, but it was still a, a decent mic. It had a lot of RGB going on, but it was still nice and everything. But I wasn't using it, so I did, you know, give it to... Um, one of my good friends, because y'all know, um, I'm not going to give anybody anything that's junk. I'm not, that, I'm just, that's just not in me to do. So that person, you know, probably still has that mic and it's, it's always good to pay it forward, you know, and everything. I think the next one I get that I got, um, Ooh, look, this one's one of my favorites. I was going to be real, which is one of my favorites. This is the, let me make sure I got it right. I think it's the K669D. I just want to make sure. Let me make sure. I don't want to tell you wrong. Yeah. This one is the K669D. D stands for dynamic. This is an XLR mic only. Let me make sure because I don't see nothing else on here. Yeah, this is just an XLR mic. This little, this little joker here. As you can see, XLR. XLR and USB-C and just USB mics are different. It's of a different beast. I find that XLR mics sound a lot better because you have to plug it into an interface. You have to plug it into an audio interface, which gives it more boost. And, um, oh my God, let me see if I can unloosen this some sort of way. But yeah, but yeah this is the uh, K669D. See how it's built? This thing is built like a, it's built, it's built like Fort Knox almost. It's nice. Very, got some heft to it. It's got some heft to it. Got the pop filters. That's what I meant to call the other thing. Windscreens, pop filters, same thing. Y'all know what I'm, y'all know what I mean. Nice. I use this thing for like, oh my God, every bit of close to a year. Close to, had to be like close to a year that I used it and I loved it. I, I'm keeping this one. I'm sorry. I'm keeping it. Um, I'm not getting rid of my K669D. I love my mic. It's, it's of good quality and um, I wouldn't trade it. You know, I wouldn't trade it. It's a good microphone, you know, um, and that is a, a dynamic microphone that is, uh, I use that in XLR mode because that's the only mode you can use it in, as you can see. So yeah, as long as you have an audio interface, and the audio interface that I'm using is the SE, is the Five Fine SE3. I do have a Personas 24C as well that I use from time to time, and um, this is a Personas PD70 microphone that I'm talking in right now, which is a very good mic, and it works well with the SE3. It works well with the Personas 24C audio interface. I don't know. I have a thing about you know things looking good on my channel and things to sound good. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, um, you want to present yourself. Um, this is really who I am in real life. I don't half, I don't, I don't do stuff halfway. You know, I like to present my stuff in a certain type of way because it is a reflection of what I think about my content. I think, you know, my content 
should be top notch because when I look at people's content, I don't care if you're just starting out. You do not have to spend a bunch of money. You can use your, your iPhone or your Android phone to record from. As long as it's in good quality and you're putting forth an effort, I'm cool with that. But I'm just letting you know you do not have to spend a bunch of money to start a channel, you know, or to have good quality on your channel. Some people don't put in effort, but I do. And the people around me put in effort as well. And we are of like, we're like-minded individuals, which is probably why we get along, you know, because we believe, we don't believe in, you know, doing stuff half cocked and stuff like that. Nah, we don't, we don't do that. If you're going to do something, do it right. It's about presentation and it ain't, you know, it's, it's just, that's just, that's just a way of life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I had to tap into the, um, the next mic. This one is a, oh my God, I, this is a sure, I think this is the MV. Let me make sure I got the right mic. It's on my channel. So I want to make sure I got it right. I think it's the MV. Let me see if I got it on here. If it comes up, y'all bear with me. It's a Shure mic, but it's not the SM. It's the um, MV7. So I was right. I have the Shure MV7 mic as well. So let me go back because I want to get. Here we go. Shure MV7, which is this one right here. It's a very good mic. Um, I think I spent some money on it. You know, um, over a hundred dollars. I know. I want to say. But, you know, you can use this one in, I think, what is it, mini, uh, micro, um, you can use it in XR, XLR mode, or I think it's like a mini, I don't know if that's, it's not USB-C, it's, it's mini, it's a mini, it's a mini um, something. Let me look up the video, hold on. It's a, it's an odd one, it's not a, it's not. Matter of fact, I got to find the cord it is because I can't, I don't even know what I did with the cord, but I'm just going to show it to you. Let me see. So you can use it in XLR mode. You can plug in headphones. I think it's a micro, uh, micro mini port that you can plug in to that. Matter of fact, I got to find the cord, but it's not, it's not, it, it's not, um, it is not USB-C. So just to let you know. But it's a good mic. Don't get me wrong. And if you use it in, um, if you use it in um, USB mode, all of this right here lights up. But I've never used it in that. I always use it in um, XLR. Yep, I always use it in XLR. I very seldom use mics in USB mode, USB C mode, or either micro. I just, I think the sound is just better with XLR. That's just my personal preference. But yes, I mean, sure, they make they make good products, you know. Um, there's no doubt about it. Um, and I used this for a little while. I didn't use this one as long as I used the rest of them. I think I'm going to get me another pop filter because that thing act like it wants to keep coming off for some reason. I think I, I'm going to put another one on. I'm going to buy some more from Amazon because they have them where you can get them. But it's a very good mic. Don't get me wrong. It's a very good mic. It's solid. It's probably one that I'll keep. Um in my collection to be honest um let me see i only have one more to show you because i think this is all the mics i got i've given away a lot of mics um so i got three four five i really only have six mics that's it yeah yeah that's all i got yeah six mics i have six solid microphones these are all solid i've tested them through thick and thin and they are they are every bit of solid the last one that i want to go over <laughs> is one of my favorites absolutely one of my favorites and it's by a it's a budget uh microphone but it's solid and that's the uh five fine tank that's the tank three i can't even front this thing is a beast when they call it a tank three they ain't lying that's the tank three let me just turn around. Yeah, let me five five. That button there, like if you use it in USB C mode, that's the mute button, and it's got it's it's actually um when you press it down, it'll turn a different color and stuff like that. It'll turn green, I be, red, I believe. 
it's this is a solid microphone. It's got some heft to it. It does have some heft to it. And I love it. So all that streaming and stuff I was doing, Mike, this is what I was using. And this one is USB-C or um, XLR. You can't beat that. And then, of course, you can plug in your um, headset to this microphone. You can't beat it. And these are the uh, microphone and headset knobs on the side. I'm not fond of these right here. I wish, um, I kind of wish Five Fine would have placed them maybe a little bit more flatter, but I guess, I guess it really doesn't bother me. I just, I, when I do put this mic up, I try to have the knobs not facing, you know, in my streams and stuff like that. But I understand why they have them on here, but, um, I'm not too fond. That's the, you know, you can turn up the, the uh, volume in your, um, in your, on your mic via buttons, you know, but I control everything because I'm mo mostly on PC. I control everything um, through my PC or uh, through my S SE3 um, out of your interface. So I really don't, I don't even mess with these knobs to be honest. I really don't. I guess if you want to use, use it in USB, you can, you can mess with them, but I don't mess with them at all because I, I have an audio interface, so I don't have to mess with them. So but yeah, this is a solid mic. So I just wanted to come through and do a video and let you guys know that you do not have, you do not have to spend a bunch of money on um, microphones. You don't. Get you a good interface. If you want to use XLR mode, which is what I suggest, over a condenser, I'd rather use a dynamic mic over a condenser mic. Get you a good uh, audio interface. You can get the SE3 if you want. It's a, a budget SE3 audio mixer. Or you can get a, like a Persona. So a Persona's... Um, 24c i don't think i paid that much for it. i think i paid like 139 dollars for it if that um it's a lot of other interfaces you can use i think clay and um and my friend kevin i forgot what they use um you have to look at their videos to see what interfaces they use they'll tell you but um i had also gotten the amp five fine apple tank sc1 but I had a little bit of buzzing coming from that interface. I don't know why. I'm going to try it again to see if I can get it to work right. Um, but I did tell my representative that it, there, were, there was buzzing in my stream, you know, when I was using it. And I, I don't know why. So I hadn't used that audio interface anymore, but I still have it. Um, so far, I've been rocking with the SE3 audio interface, uh, the SE3 mixer, which is right on my desk right here. You can't see it, but it's on my desk. And it's been rocking out. It's been working for me. So, and I do have the backup Personas PD. Uh, no, the Personas 24C. That was my first interface I um purchased. Then I got the um SE3. So I have two audio interfaces that that I can use at any given time. I'm thinking about getting a third one. I just don't know what I want to get. I kind of know what I want to get, but I'm gonna get with my my friends. Uh, Clay and Kevin and see if that's a good one because it's what they use on their um, as their interface for their microphones and their audio if you ever pay attention to what you know everything sounds like it sounds really really nice but anyway I'm gonna cut this video here just wanted to show you the mics that Miss K uses you do not have to spend a lot of money you do not there's nothing wrong with budget friendly microphones there's nothing wrong with budget friendly audio interfaces as well um I've tested these mics for for a while, you know, ever since I've been putting out content, I would say over the last year or more. I've been testing these um, mics out throughout my YouTube channel, and nobody's complained. Nobody told me I had bad sound or anything like that. If it was uh, something going on with sound, it was probably something that I didn't enable or something like that. But anyway, it's your girl, Miss K. I'm going to get on off of here. And um, I want you guys to have a good rest of your day. Know, and just know that you do not have to spend a bunch of money to have your stuff sounding good. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. Y'all know I, I answer my comments and questions. So it's your girl, Miss K.